wait, are they QQing about Twitter while begging for money? They always do. They always do. They gotta hit you with the... The year is 2033. Elon Musk is no longer one of the richest people in the world, having hemorrhaged away his fortune trying to make Twitter profitable, which, alas, hasn't worked out too well. Only 420 people are left on the platform. Everyone else was banned for not laughing at Musk's increasingly desperate jokes. In other news, Pete Davidson is now dating Martha Stewart. Donald Trump is still threatening to run for president. Orange man! And British tabloids are still churning out hundreds of articles a day about whether Meghan Markle eating lunch is an outrageous snub to the royal family. Obviously, I have no idea what the world is going to look like in a decade. But here's one prediction I feel very confident in making. Without a free and fearless press, the future will be bleak. Without independent journalism, democracy Shut is up. doomed. Silly woman. Without journalists who hold the power to account, the future will be entirely shaped by the whims and the wants of the 1%. A lot of the 1% are not big fans of The Guardian, by the way. Donald Trump once praised a Montana congressman who body-slammed a Guardian reporter. Musk, meanwhile, has described The Guardian as the most insufferable newspaper on planet Earth. Gee, I can't fucking imagine why. I'm not sure there is any greater compliment. I am proud to write for The Guardian. But ethics can be expensive. Not having a paywall means that the Guardian has to regularly ask our readers to chip in. If you are able, please do consider supporting us. Only with your help can we continue to get on Elon Musk's nerves. Holy shit. Can you imagine how Shut narcissistic up, you have to be silly woman. to write all of this fucking garbage? <laughs> Holy shit, it's no wonder everyone fucking hates you, journalists! Fart huffing pieces of shit! You recognize that journo face from other garbage articles? I don't, she looks like AI. <laughs> this man was all about the rigor mortis. Yeah, right? Every Everybody clapped. We got on the floor, we did the dinosaur, it was a good time. Orange man bad, please give me money. <laughs> I... I, I am stunning and brave. Every, every time I say something, my opinions could get me in so much trouble. Fuck Elon Musk. Orange man is bad. D trans rights are human rights. Look how brave I am. No one is brave enough to state these horrendous things that will get you taken down and silenced. <laughs> I need to say that in the ooh woo voice. Oh my god. Current thing! How am I supposed to know how to feel about current thing? Unless a corporation tells me what to think! <laughs> oh my god, dude. He wants to tell people what to do. That's our job. Hey. You're brave enough to say redacted for being a breach of TOS. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it is truly current year plus nine. Look at my teeth. <laughs> you thought I was making that shit up? You didn't know someone actually wrote that? Only 420 people are on Twitter and got paid for it? Well, it's, it's the year 2033, she said. That was the preface, all right, okay? Only, only 420, haha, -ha, funny number. MLG, no scope, Pro 360, walk away. Uh, in 2033. <laughs> God damn. He had that on in the background and it scared you a bit. You know, sometimes I scrim. Sometimes we do a little scrim. That was last week's thing. Focus on this week's thing and be angie. Angie. <laughs>